Recently, I've done a video on how to build a horizontal dot plot or a dumbbell chart in Power BI using only native features. Now, in this video, we're going to take a different approach. We're going to build a dumbbell chart using SVG images. Now, let's have a look how it can be done. First of all, we need a visualization that lets us visualize these SVG images. In this case, we're going to go for a simple table visual that I already set up. And the special thing about the dumbbell chart is that it really focuses on showing the differences between two series for multiple items. And to show SVG images in Power BI, we can use measures. What you still need to do is take that measure, then go to measure tools, and then here for data category, there we need to say that this is an image URL. And that looks exactly like I want it to look like. Okay, now we have dots. Now, the next thing that we need to do is, well, place in a second dot. And ta-da, we have now two dots for every item. Okay, now the missing part is still the line, so one more element that we need to create. And ta-da, we have a line between the dots. Perfect. Now let's go back because I don't want this line to be in the front. So the position in the code matters. So that means if we take that line, all right, for the line, and we position it up by selecting the line, holding the Alt key, and then upward arrow, you see, it moves up. And there you go. Here we have a horizontal dot plot, a dumbbell chart using SVG code. But the problem is, is that it has no connection whatsoever to our data set. So that's going to be the next step. We need to bind these visuals to our data. Now, of course, we need to do this in our measure as well. So let's go back. That basically all comes down to figuring out the actual values of our two series for the different items. Now, the two series that we have over here are the actual sales versus the forecasted sales. The items that we have are by subcategory. And then we can use those actual values and figure out where to plot them in a range that, well, is based or related to the SVG width of 250. Now, let's go over all of the steps that are necessary, starting off with figuring out the maximum minimum of the values that are displayed for our subcategories. All right, perfect. So now we have our double chart and it's nicely bound to our data. So the double charts actually make sense. Now, one thing kind of still bothers me. So that is, first of all, we need to take care of the sorting. So sorting is one thing. Now here it's already sorted by the actuals, but as you see, you have full flexibility in how everything gets sorted. Okay, so that's fine. And another thing that you need to pay attention to is over here, these circles that get cut off. How is that possible? 